Select on neutral ground at Villa Park, and there to watch them, Ryan Moore. Before tonight, more than 80,000 fans had followed this cup tie juggernaut as it followed its spectacular course from Anfield to Highbury. And now at Villa Park, that overall figure goes beyond 100,000 as we see if one of these giants can at last edge ahead of the other. Arsenal claiming that they set their sights and standards by Liverpool field an unchanged team. That means that Brian Marwood has recovered from flu and plays. They've scored more first division goals than anyone this season, 30, but both sides know so much about each other that now the goals tonight will be so hard to come by. And mention of goals, Liverpool can call on Ian Rush. He missed the game at Highbury through injury, but now John Barnes is missing from Liverpool's side with a groin injury, and Kenny Dalglish has sprung a surprise by leaving out top scorer John Aldridge. He scored the winner at Queen's Park Rangers on Saturday. Presumably, the striking pair for Liverpool now will be Rush and Peter Beardsley. The referee tonight is Keith Hackett of Sheffield. So Liverpool get episode three underway. Strip attacking the goal to our left. Arsenal in their change strip of yellow with blue shorts. Two rip roaring games full of pace and precision. And really, you can bet that tonight's will be just the same. Look at his clearance. Thomas, up goes Merson, gets there first. But Cleland was in quickly for Liverpool. Handball that time possibly by uh, Kevin Richardson and it'll be a Liverpool free kick Whelan to McMahon and now to Nicol Staunton. And now Ablett. Here's Steve Staunton. Dixon forcing him inside. He was happy to go there and find Beardsley. Whelan to Beardsley again. His little touch didn't quite reach Rush. Adams intercepted, but Rush again for Liverpool. Charge down. Beardsley looking to get in there. Beardsley! Side in. Uh, Rush and Beardsley, a lot of people feel that is a fairly potent combination up front. Though a lot of people are surprised that John Aldridge would be left out of the side. And Beardsley clearly looks in the mood. He delayed a shot there, thought he could do better here. But in the end, it's into the side netting and Arsenal will breathe again. Let's. 
technical. Back and forth across that back four it goes, and now Ablett with a long ball forward. Winterburn met that well for Arsenal, but here's McMahon for Liverpool. Whelan. Beardsley. Just look how close Bold was to him. Certainly got to keep their eye on Beardsley. Here's Smackman. Now will rush. Oh, my goodness, he struck that well. That was like the old rush. Certainly uh, tingled John Lukic's fingers. Minimum of back lift to all economy. But with it, great power. A little header down there by Smackman. And bang, rush on target. Lukic in the way. Rush, almost making something there. And Spackman playing a very strong forward role for Liverpool tonight. Forward now to Merson. It's there! The last ball for Merson! Michael Thomas's ball forward. And Merson, the 20 year old, is mobbed by Arsenal fans. Took it down well. Shook off Ablitz. Wide and Hooper in the back of the Liverpool net. 26 minutes of the game gone. And Arsenal go into the lead. Paul Merson. Season for him, following the two he got on Saturday against Middlesbrough. And the crucial break goes to the London side. And goals certainly will be at a premium tonight. Arsenal haven't conceded one in their last three games. And Liverpool have conceded only four in their previous eight. time in this saga that Arsenal in fact have been in the lead. John Barnes put Liverpool ahead at Anfield, David Rocastle equalised and of course the game at Highbury was goals. But Arsenal ahead for the first time. And really at a time when they still were struggling to get into any sort of rhythm. With Liverpool having made so much of the early play. Beardsley. Whelan towards Spackman, towards Rush, back to Spackman again. Rush. A handball. No, it must be an offside. The linesman on the far side was flagging. A free kick to Arsenal. Chasing after this one, Hooper's come out. And Nickel got it back. Rush. And hit straight at Lukic by Ray Harton. Free kick to Liverpool. Ablett, Nickel.
Here's Whelan. Beardsley. Whelan. Echo. Houghton. It's a long cross, might be met by Rush. Might be met by Speckman. Rush is there, and it's... Oh, that was a really odd moment there. Bizarre. As Rush and Speckman both desperately tried to make a contact. And it's Rush who's down injured. And Lee Dixon is also injured. Whether it was a clash between the two as they desperately tried to... Well, one of them to get the ball in the net and uh, Dixon here to make sure that it didn't get there. Cross comes floating in here. Rush went for it with the keeper. And it could well have been that he was punched accidentally there by John Lukic. And neither Smackman nor Rush could make an impression and Arsenal got it away. It could well have been that Rush was caught there by Lukic. But it was a ball that Lukic was entitled to go for. One of those teasing balls curling away a little bit from the goalkeeper. It was held in beautifully here by Howden. Good cross. Just had to come for it. Did Lukic and Dixon in the end got the ball in his face. It'll be a drop ball. On the ground, really, where both sides are happy to play. Arsenal haven't lost here in five and a half seasons. And Liverpool haven't lost here on their last nine visits. It's for cup matches and matches, of course, against Aston Villa. But Rush is obviously feeling rather sore after that clash with John Lukic a little while back and not moving very smoothly at all. Nickel gets that one back to uh, Mike Hooper. And Rush really struggling. Uh, an injured hip, or rather a rib cage, I would have thought. Looks decidedly unhappy. Beardsley. He's got to do it all on his own. Adams is after him. He's got some support there from Smackman, but Smackman couldn't quite take the pass. Freeland. Nickel. Beardsley. Houghton. Pitch forward to Smackman. McMahon away on the right-hand side. He's gone past Winterburn, the cross comes in! Houghton very nearly got on the end of it, that's some good defending again by Lee Dixon for Arsenal. He certainly played his part in this saga as Lee Dixon. Aldridge comes on now. And the right on half time at Highbury when uh, Beardsley was through it was a splendid piece of uh, defending by Dixon that saved them and he got in well there right here comes Aldridge scorer of eight goals and there goes Ian Rush and Liverpool make their first substitution There's the half-time whistle. And the first breakthrough came. A really skillfully taken goal there by 20-year-old Paul Merson after 26 minutes putting Arsenal into the lead. Liverpool had played some excellent stuff leading up to that. And you get the feeling, as they say, that... Well, Liverpool will look around at all the football they played in that first half and be surprised to find themselves a goal down, but a goal down they are, an excellent one by Paul Merson. And might take a bit of pulling back against a very determined Arsenal defence. Yeah, Lee Dixon got in there, has been absolutely outstanding. And 
Jones. Standards, they might look and wonder how it was that Gary Ablett allowed Merson to turn and get his shot in. But it was certainly an excellent piece of work by Arsenal's 20-year-old uh, striker. Can a goalkeeper now, who's conceded only four in the last nine, John Lukic, keep another clean sheet and take Arsenal into the next round? game so far, Beardsley who hasn't Spackman getting in but the foul was a foul by Bold who was given the yellow card in the first game at Anfield and gets another one here the challenge was late and down went Spackman very late Aldridge, back by uh, Dixon. <laughs> Chant goes up, boring, boring Arsenal, overlooking the fact that they are the leading scorers in Division One with 30 goals. his touch. Aldridge playing it on for Ray Houghton. Here's me. Arsenal's goal kick. Sevens and the tenacious little Beardsley stopping Rowcastle in his tracks. Arsenal's throw, Dixon with it. Merson, a little bit of touch there for Smith, but he made no headway at all. Nickel, a little cool. Mason, Whelan. trying to get the ball through to Houghton. Play on, said the referee. Aldridge. Might get it back. No. Just a little too intricate there. In that Arsenal penalty area. Two, four, five, six Arsenal defenders back. And it began to look as though there was a real possibility there for Liverpool. Up goes Smith. Touches it on towards Merson. Walk down, play on again, said the referee. Back to Hooper. Aldridge. Spackman's after it. Dixon. Old versus Aldridge. Again, Aldridge got there first, but... A foul on the uh, Arsenal defender. There, yeah, free kick. Aldrich looking in lively form since he came on for Ian Rush.
Dixon's with him. And the free throw. Whelan. Houghton. Whelan, a long way out. A very impressive strike there. The end of a, an impressive move by Liverpool. Touch back in the end by Houghton into the path. Tommy Whelan. Not much to spare for Arsenal. But still leading by a goal to nil. Liverpool look for this equaliser. Spackman. Good pass or rather Thomas has got the better of him, but here's Whelan. Beardsley. Staunton. A foul on Dixon. Half the stadium booze and the other half cheers. Staunton gets it back to Nickel. Gold. No castle. Richardson. Ablett again. Beardsley. That goes Beardsley again. McMahon. Harper. Spackman. Whelan. Up to Beardsley. Beardsley once more, but losing this time to Rowcastle. Very intelligent play there by Rowcastle, holding the ball because he fancied that Burston was in an offside position, which he was. What a contest now. And a free kick to Arsenal, taken quickly, and they find Mercer. Smith is lurking in the middle. Marwood's come up quickly as well. Castle played in short to Brian Marwood and a goal kick to the Richardson and Arsenal throw. Dixon with it. Half an hour of this cup replay remaining. Arsenal leading by one goal to nil. Smith. Thomas. Shot charged down by Nickel. 
and McMahon bringing it away. Beardsley, the little touch for Wheeler. Forward to Aldridge, the touch for Beardsley. Beardsley involved in so much, it's an irresistible feeling that if Liverpool are to get back at it, you feel that he'll have a hand in it somewhere. with Venison. McMahon swept wide to Staunton. Stopped by Rowcastle. Aldrich. Venison. Good tackling back by Michael Thomas for Arsenal. Stopped by Beardsley. Picked up by McMahon. Long range shots! McMahon! 1-1! Hit with tremendous power. A slight deflection possibly there. But like an arrow into the Arsenal net. First goal of the season. After a long spell out with injury, Thomas will be annoyed that he lost the ball where he did. But McMahon hit superbly wide of Lukic, and we'll level again. 16 minutes of the second half gone. Liverpool have shown tonight that equaliser really is no more than they deserve and they're trying desperately to uh, attract the referee's attention Arsenal want to make a substitution and Brian Marwood's going off he had a spot of flu over the weekend and maybe hasn't fully recovered and they're bringing on Martin Hayes in once more, Spackman on the far side Whelan, Beardsley delicate touch again, finding Staunton Dixon loading in here for Winterburn Martin Hayes Merson now Castle gathering pace and momentum here oh in the end Smith just couldn't find uh, that extra half yard to reach that cross come shot from uh, David Rowcastle great run here by Rowcastle man who scored that stunning goal in the first game at Anfield and Smith just couldn't get the touch Nickel for Liverpool. Steve Staunton. Everett. 
Now Beardsley, a little quickening of the pace, a little more trickery, and a pass to Houghton. Missed it first time and very nearly got a second go at it. Comes to Spackman, no. No castle spotted the danger there quickly for Arsenal. Richardson with it, floated towards Adams, just over the top. They very nearly caught Liverpool napping there. It was a bounding run from Tony Adams from deep. And uh, Richardson's free kick, perfectly flighted. A big Arsenal captain there, but it's always on the off. chances in the second half there's Houghton shot glancing off the post and behind to Houghton, all to Ray Houghton, a little toe poke by him, and it's in there by Aldrich. <laughs> the man who couldn't find a place in the starting lineup, they preferred Ian Rush, their top scorer John Aldrich. They worked this move 
done so well. A lot of credit there to Ray Hart, a little toe poke there. And there's Aldridge with a looping header over Lukic. And that could well put Liverpool into round four. Inside the last three minutes. His ninth of the season. and played their way out of trouble. 